At the beginning of World War II, on the 1st of September 1939, till the end of the war, on the 2nd of September 1945, over 6 million people lost their lives, which was also at the time 3% of the global population. The effects of the war not only impacted the lives of those fighting, but also those living at home and working in the fields. In this documentary, we are looking into the lives of two people who grew up during and post World War II. Mr and Mrs Brian, on behalf of the university team, we'd like to thank you for joining us today and talking about your experiences of World War II. Where were you living at the time then? Sort of when, when the war started and after you, you were born? I, I was living in Sippenham which is a part of Slough, in Buckinghamshire as it was then, and you were... And I was born in Southall, which is now called West London, <laughs> although it was Middlesex when I was born there. What is your earliest memory there? Was it a happy memory? Was it a sad memory? Oh no, what, what, no, no, lovely. Because I was on a farm, or a small... Although it wasn't a big farm, they were called small holdings in those days. And uh, oh, we had a wonderful childhood in there, you know. So how um, big was this farm? Did your family own it? Did they work on it? Oh, the, we had, a, I had a, an uncle who also had a pig farm. He was next door, so it was, uh, it was very good. So you grew up in the countryside? In the country, I did, on. yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can remember the sounds of war, and that was the doodle bug. I don't know if we, you, you're yet too young to know, but after being bombed, London was bombed, from planes, German planes, the Germans had actually invented missiles. One was called Doodlebug, and it was a rocket-propelled bomb that flew over from France. The engine cut out over London, and it was a 500-pound bomb that landed. We're going to start to move on to your teenage life, and mainly how technology changed for you. What technology did you grow up with, and things like that? Can you tell us? Uh, any radio signals? Yes, uh, no, because the, after the war the transistor was invented and that changed really everything. I, I got my first transistor radio when I was, what, 10 or 12 years old. It was fantastic, you know, listening to the radio. But before that, all, all, as a young lad, we all made our own little radios. It was called a crystal set, which you made with a, from a crystal, with a crystal and with a battery and a little wavelength, all to the wavelengths, and you could listen to your headphones, so you had your own radio there. But transistors have, have actually ch changed, changed life completely, up to, up to the present day. Because from transistors we've got nowadays, we've got our computers. Uh, Mrs Bryant, do you remember any TV? Did you grow up with a TV or a radio? After that, could you afford one? Were you no, living? I mean, no, I, because I come from a big family, um, there were five children. Um, the war, after the war, I mean, obviously things were still quite tight, and with only one breadwinner, because my mother couldn't work with the children, having so many children. Um, we we were always well fed and had good clothes and everything. But television, a because we didn't have electricity, <laughs> there was no television in our house until I was about nineteen. Now I've been hearing a few things about ration books back then. Do you, does that ring a bell? Oh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Food was rationed, lots of food parts, food, food. yeah, food. Sugar, butter, everything. Because um, a lot of stuff like sugar had to be imported and we lost a lot of shipping during, during the war, didn't we? And, well, it was rationed during the war, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and after. And after. The, Really? So, yeah. Although you weren't born in the war, the war still affected Oh, affected. You. Oh, yeah, ration books went on for and to the late, 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 late 40s, maybe uh, 50s, possibly, 50s, yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. possibly up to about 1950. Yes. Yeah. And the last things to come off ration were sugar. Sugar. And sweets and things like that. 
Uh, we've got the ration books, and funny enough, the ration books date to 1954, so they went on, you know, so 10 years, 10, 12 years, I was 12 years old, and the food was still rationed. It was mostly yeah, sugar. Yeah, mostly and sugar, like and tea, yeah. the tea was still, because it all came from abroad. And mm. the other thing during the war years, um, you had to have one every, of everybody was issued with an identity card, and I've still got my parents' ones, and my own. How old were you when you got that identity card? Um, three weeks old. <laughs> 1943, that was issued. Yeah. So and it was, it's funny, because it was valid, valid until 1959. Isn't that amazing, isn't it? 